What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys four new snakes I decided to add to my snake family here. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen a couple of these snakes. I have not posted all of these snakes on Instagram, but they've been quarantining and they all are doing pretty well. So I decided to uh, go ahead and show off these new snakes since they're out, now out of quarantine. Gotten a few meals out of them and a couple of sheds out of them. So I wanted to share share with you guys the new snakes that I have. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, so welcome back to the video. Like I said, I'm gonna be showing off the four new snakes that I decided to uh, add to my collection here. And I definitely have plans for a couple of these guys. Most of them are gonna be just pets, display animals, as you guys know, but uh, we'll go ahead and jump into it with the first one. And this is, if I can get him off this plant. So this is Takeoff. Takeoff is a Southern locality um, scrub python. Very small, if I can get the camera to focus and get him to stop moving around so much. But very, very small snake. Now these guys do get pretty big and they can reach sizes of up to eight to 10 foot. So I'm super excited to see this guy grow again. Um, everyone's taken down multiple meals for me. Uh, this guy's taken down quite a bit of meals as well um, and doing very good. He won't let go of his plant or my finger, but let's see if I can try to get a, there we go, there's his face you guys can there's the rest of his body so um and then when they get older they actually lose that red coloration and they get a little darker so um definitely can't wait to see how he'll you know color up and see what he looks like when he gets older but this is takeoff my sarong uh, or my southern locality uh scrub python all right everybody so i'm back with the second snake here she's a little temperamental um, but this is my patternless berm this is Aphrodite, so she is patternless, head granite, beautiful snake. Let me turn down the light so you guys can really see her pattern. The light's just a little too bright, there we go. So, there we go, so this is her, really nice pattern. Now I know they call them patternless, um, some people call them greens, but um, she was marked as patternless, head granite, so that's what I'm going by. But that is her, Miss Aphrodite. Um, female berm. Um, I have not yet decided if I will breed berms or if I'll pair her with Zeus in the future, but it is pretty tempting because Zeus is a granite and Zeus is, you know, he's big. Um, and this is a female. So we'll see what the future holds and how that goes. I do have some other things that I would really like to get going before I decide to go that big. And she's got some time before she's ready to breed anyway. And so does Zeus. So I'm not rushing anything. I'm not rushing into anything because these guys do get large and I would need to have, you know, people to sell to. And I don't want to just sell to anybody that can't take on these large snakes. But again, this is Aphrodite, my patternless het granite berm. And she's trying to get away from me, but that's her. All right, everybody, so I'm back with snake number three. Now you guys have seen the Southern Scrub Python. I actually got two. However, this is a different locality. This is Namor, yes, from Black Panther 2. I couldn't help it with the name. Shout out to my good friend uh, on uh, Instagram for helping me name, name this guy. I'll put her name down in the description. Cool person. Definitely check her out because she's got some dope reptiles too, but this is Namor. He is a sarong locality bar neck scrub python and these guys get pretty big as well and he came from a good friend of mine my guy matt mcdowell with arboreal obscurities matt again i can't thank you enough for this dude he is doing great um doing very well eating shedding pooping for sure i just literally pulled some poop out um and man just i really like the head on this guy Let's see if i can get that oh the head, there we go. The head on this guy is insane. Like they got those really fat scales on the top of their head. And again, these guys get large. So I'm super excited to see him grow, see him thrive 
and see really how his color and his pattern matures with me he is not a small snake he's not huge just yet but he is definitely a good size doing very well very very well and scrubs have been on the list for a while <clears throat> i just i would always look into them and they would all i just never would see one that i really wanted to bring home or they'd be out of my price range honestly or it would just be the wrong time i wouldn't have any open uh space for a new snake well again this is namor and probably out of the four is probably my second favorite that i got recently the last one i'm showing to you guys is definitely my, my number one favorite snake that i just got so um yeah that's namor so i hope you guys Look forward to seeing more of all of these guys, but this guy definitely for sure. All right, everybody. So last and certainly not least, I actually had to turn the light off because she's another one of those snakes that the color is so bright. The light just makes it over contrast. Look, it just looks crazy. But she's definitely my favorite out of the four. And this is Cookies and Cream. Cookies and Cream is my cow retic. Yes, cow retic. I'm super excited to have a cow retic. Now, she doesn't have any of the dark markings or anything just yet, but over time they will come in and she does have some, she has some spots on her. They're just not black quite yet. Now she is a sunfire cow, so she's gonna have, man, it's hard, it's hard to pick up. She's gonna have a lot more of that yellow in her when she gets older versus just that normal black and white. But she's, she's gonna be very, very, very beautiful. I can't wait. Here's some of those. Can't see, here's a spot right here. And it's crazy because when I took her off the bag, I'm like, are those mites? But nope, they're not mites. These guys are actually orange. And she's already shut out for me a couple of times. Um, again, I'm sure they're not mites. Um, but man, she's doing good. Uh, she's had a couple of meals for me as well. And again, very, very beautiful snake. I can't wait until she gets some of the black spots on her. So then I can really show her off to you guys. She handles very well, super duper tame and that's not something I'm used to in a retic, but she's very, very friendly. She has more of a berm personality, but beautiful snake. Super excited to have her, and I definitely hope you guys look forward to seeing more of her, uh, more content of her on my uh, Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and everything like that. So again, this is Cookies and Cream, my cow retic. So all right, everybody, and that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the new ones that I brought into the reptile, you know, the reptile collection, the reptile family, the exotic family. Um, you guys know I'm always, always, always upgrading and adding new things. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys really enjoy those four. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what your guys' favorite out of those four was. Um, I'd love to talk to you about it. Ask questions. Let me know who your favorite snake was. Follow me on Instagram at DW Exotics. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you love this video. And as always, stay excited.